The National Transportation Safety Board is recommending several new safety measures after last year's East Palestine train derailment. A massive fire after the derailment released hazardous materials into the air, and people who live nearby say they're still dealing with medical issues. Chelsea Torres, live in East Palestine, Ohio for us. So, Chelsea, what did we learn from the investigation? Sure. Well, Hannah Matthew, NTSB investigators say that they found a handful of issues causing the derailment, starting with mechanical issues, even down to the communication response. Some of those top four issues come down to a failed wheel bearings and its failed alarm systems, even alerting conductors, emergency response from agencies, more so how several volunteer firefighters did not have hazardous material training, the type of hazardous materials on the train itself, and investigators say the railroad operator, North Folk Southern and its contractors allowed a burn of chemicals when it wasn't actually necessary. In response to today's hearing, Norfolk Southern did say they appreciate the NTSB's investigation of East Palestine derailment and recommendations for enhancing rail safety. We share their commitment to safety and have in the last 16 months implemented many enhancements and technologies. One woman I spoke to said that she lived just one mile from the derailment, got sick hours after the train accident. She said she's more worried about her 10-year-old son and his asthma has actually worsened and he has a reoccurring rash that doctors don't even know how to treat. The railroad company, Norfolk Southern, agreed to a $600 million settlement, but people do say it's not about the money. This class action settlement that's coming up isn't enough. Uh, most people can't even move out with the, the tops of where they're cutting people off within just a mile radius, as close as you can be. We, I don't feel like I have any more answers. I feel like even less, and it's scary for as many people are sick, and they know that, that we are sick. A community meeting just wrapped up here, and it was really for people to ask questions about the investigation. But after today, NTSB says that in a few weeks, they will be releasing that final report on the derailment. In East Palestine, Ohio, Chelsea Torres, Fox 13 News.